Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and uh, this uh, video is about Harper Lee and a Go Set of Watchmen, and also, uh, of course, her you know her seminal her seminal book um, To Kill a Mockingbird. So I'm a huge fan of To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird, I think, is a really critically important um, book about race in America. And I read it, like most people, uh, as an assignment in high school. And, um, you know, so um, my relationship with books is uh, um, I love books. And at the same time, I have a really weird relationship with books because I'm like most people in the modern day. It's really uh, challenging to understand how to interact with books because they're changing so dramatically right now. And so, um, so I've been following this story about uh, Go Set a Watchman for some time now. And uh, it's, you know, just because it's really important. So it, it's, there's a lot of issues rolled up in this incredibly complex um, uh, issue. And so, so uh, I thought, you know, one of the things that was important was just to understand what was happening. Um, and so, so basically Harper Lee is very old right now, and uh, the publishers convinced her to publish a book which is um, was really never supposed to be printed. Her editor took a look at the book, Go Set a Watchman, and said, this is not the right book. And, you know, as an editor, sent her back to the drawing board, um, back to her typewriter, and said, you got to write a whole new book. And out of that came To Kill a Mockingbird. So I think one of the things that came out of this, this uh, book, Go Set a Watchman, is the value of an editor, right? So this book should have never been published, in my opinion. And um, her publishers convinced her at the ripe old age of like 80 years old to publish this. And she is so old and so um, not strong, I think that's the term I would use, that she has not come out publicly and said, and she can't come out publicly right now and say, this is my book, I'm proud of it, I wanted this published. She is not speaking to the public right now. And that, that is a very, very strong indication that uh, she was probably pressured to get this book out there. And I just, I feel like the people who surround Harper Lee, the publisher, I can understand why they went down this road. I, I, I think they should be ashamed of themselves for, for, you know, for bringing her down this road and setting such a dark shadow on To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, and the reason why I feel so bad about this book is it's just, it's junk. It's just, you know, a crap book that is clearly, um, the editor was right when they said this isn't the right book. To Killing a Mockingbird is the right book. And so the people that surround Harper Lee, uh, who make her decisions when she's 80 years old, they have done one of two things, in my opinion. This is my opinion. They have either failed her at best, they have failed her, or at worst, they have really betrayed her. Because To Kill a Mockingbird is a classic, and this is a drawer novel. Like, it's just a novel that should have remained in a drawer. And I think for a lot of people, drawer novels are fine. You know, if you're not, if you're not a published author... If you don't have a classic out there that's, you know, that's taught by half the, um, you know, that's, that's taught by half the colleges in the nation or half the high schools in the nation, that's fine. But uh, I just really, it really frustrates me that this happened and they, they let this book get out the door. Um, and I, I just think it's a really a shame that what happened to, um, to Harper Lee and that, you know, there weren't people around her to protect her from this. And also, I understand the publisher wanted to do this because publishers are under strain. Under strain, I think they should have taken the noble road, the high road, and protected her. Uh, and just you know, even though there wasn't a, a profit in it to protect her, just as publishers, just have a human heart, you know, and and protect her. Um, also, um, you know, I, I I follow a lot of you know I follow a lot of authors, and I I have a really in, a high interest in in um, authors who struggle in their later years, right? So. Um, one of my favorite books is Cannibal, Cannibal for Lieberwitz, and uh, the guy who wrote that, um, he actually killed himself trying to write a better book than that one. And it was it's a classic um, science fiction book, absolutely phenomenal book, really a wonderful book. Uh, I love it. And um, so I'm just saying I understand Harper Lee, you know, uh, she had a hard decision. I don't think she was in, you know, desperate need of money or anything like that. Uh, it's, just, it's just really, I'm just really frustrated to see that this, this book was able, able to get passed. All these different people that should have protected their publishers just out of love of, you know, <laughs> the printed paper rather than the green paper should have, should have protected her. The people around Harper Lee definitely should have protected her from this. Um, also, uh, Kafka. Kafka had a friend, and he said, do not publish my works. And most of Kafka's works were published posthumously and, um, you know, and uh, against his will, right? And the friend he trusted to destroy his work after he was dead actually published it. Uh, which again, you know, it's just it's crazy. I, you know, like if your friend if asks you to do something, do it. You know, it just, just seems crazy.
Uh, this also brings up uh, just the thought of I uh, in I was probably about uh, 30 years old, which is about uh, 15 years now. Uh, I met an author um, in Delaware County, and I'm not going to give his name. Uh, brilliant guy, and at that time, uh, you know, I was writing novels too. I've written two novels, and you know, um, and so they're they're narrowly distributed novels. I'm proud that I finished them. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that one day I can get a novel out there that's going to be successful and, you know, and really break through to the big to the big side. But if I don't, you know, I really I carry those uh, those failures, those book failures, you know, because they they have never been commercially successful, um, but they were really personally successful. They really helped me to work through, um, you know, being able to finish something and and uh, and just, you know, I'm an author now and I, you know, I have pride in that. But this author, I've never understood this until, and now this Harper Lee thing really helps me understand this. So this author I met, um, he uh, he was in the same boat as me. He was writing novels. And I said, hey, you know, I've been writing. You know, I'm working on my, my first book now. I'm close. I'm about three quarters of the way through. You know, wh what's your what's your story? Where are you at? And uh, he said, oh, you know, I've written, uh, I've written three books. Uh, I've taken each of those books. And uh, there's a bathtub about 300 feet behind my house. And I, I threw those books the printed pages in them, I printed them out, I uh, got rid of all electronic copies, and I burned those books in a bathtub. And I didn't even know what to say to him. I was just like, mm, you know, it's just kind of weird. I kind of walked away from the conversation. It was really strange. Um, the way I met the guy was kind of unusual. You know, I, I had friends who were cooler than me, and he, this guy was definitely one of them, you know. And um, and I just, you know, I shook my head, and I said, I'm, you're crazy. What You know, what are you talking about? I didn't say that to him because I knew it was really personal. Um, and now I realize, you know, that guy was brilliant. He was absolutely right. You know, if he wrote stuff that he did not want to connect it to his name, that's what you have to do. You have to burn your book in a bathtub 300 feet behind your, your house because your friends aren't going to do it. Your publishers can't be trusted. The people who surround you when you're old, when you're old aren't going to be able to be trusted. Um, you know, Harper Lee is, you know, is an American, um, writer who is a treasure, you know, like we owe her a debt as a nation for writing a book as, as epic as, um, To Kill a Mockingbird. And so one of the things that really blows my mind is just that, you know, we, we as a nation have failed her, you know, uh, allowing this junk novel that she, that, that, that a, a brilliant editor said, this is the wrong novel. To Kill a Mockingbird is a kernel that exists in this novel. And that transformed the world. And now we're, you know, we're spreading a dark shadow over that original book with, um, with uh, Ghost Set of Watchmen. And I just, you know, I hope people look at this and see you need to protect old people um, and you, especially their legacy. And I just feel like I feel ashamed for Harper Lee that people didn't protect her legacy. And also I now understand that that author that I met when I was 30 years old. And, uh, you know, a decision that I thought was clearly insane now seems to have an incredible amount of rationality and sanity to it. If he did not want those books attached to his name, the only way you can make sure that a book isn't published anymore is to destroy it yourself, which is wild, you know. And so um, just a lot of crazy stuff wrapped up in this, um, uh, you know, in this particular event, uh, you know, uh, which is the publication of To Go Set a Watchman. And so um, that's just my take on it personally. And, um, you know, if you're out there and, and you have a different take, uh, I'd love to hear it, you know. Um, but uh, that's everything. Take care.